My name is Lizetta Pruitt. I'm going to be performing an oral throat swab today on my patient. Um, to start, I would check my provider's order for a oral throat swab. I would rev review my policy and procedures. I would gather my equipment needed. I would check the integrity of my equipment, making sure that they are unopened and not expired. I would then enter my patient's room, knock, knock, knock. I would provide privacy and wash my hands. Hi, I'm Lizetta. I'm an LSE nursing student. I am going to be performing an oral throat swab on you today. Can I get your name and date of birth? Cody Cruz, 81593. I'm just going to check your medical bracelet and I would check my um, medical record on the computer. As I'm doing that, I will verify that my specimen collection label matches my patient's name and identification number, the date and time that the collection is taken, um, the route that it is done in, taken, um, and my name as I collected the specimen collection. I will then gather my supplies next to the bed on the bedside table within reach. I'm going to um, let my patient know you may be, feel discomfort and may gape. Those are normal reactions to an oral swab as I insert a long Q-tip looking swab into the back of your throat. I will then wash my hands, put my gloves on, I'm going to have my patient, um, if you could blow, in, blow your nose and cough into this tissue, I'm going to dispose of those properly. I am then going to open my swab for my specimen collection without contaminating. I'm going to make sure not to touch the swab to anything besides my patient's throat. I am then going to grab a tongue depressor. I'm gently going to place the tongue depressor on my patient's tongue. Um, looking at the uvula, I will insert the swab, avoiding touching the uvula. I will then swab the posterior pharynx, which is the tonsillar area. Um, if there's any white exudate, I'll make sure to uh, swab that as well. I will then slowly and gently pull the swab out, making sure not to touch my patient's tongue teeth or uvula. I'll then di dispose of the tongue depressor. Again, making sure not to contaminate my swab. I will place it into the collection tube, making sure the cap is on tightly. I will then take my gloves off, dispose of those. I will then place my specimen collection label onto my throat swab tube. I will put it in a biohazard bag. I will wash my hands. I will wash my hands. I will then um, bring my collection down to lab and Make sure my patient is comfortable, in low position, call light in, within reach, um, and I will be back to check on you. After I bring my collection to the lab, I will um, document my procedure of a throat swab, or oral throat swab collection. Thank you for being my patients today.